So it was announced that Colby Covington is going to be fighting Robbie Lawler uh, for UFC Newark, the main event. And that is a fight that I kind of expect uh, Covington to win. Uh, I just think that, you know, he obviously won't be taking any risks versus Lawler, who, you know, just hits like a truck. Uh, now, the way I see it, if Covington comes out on top there, then Darren Till versus Robbie Lawler would not be a bad fight. Uh, the only thing that it would perhaps have going against it would be the fact that if that is the case, then Robbie Lawler would have lost uh one, two, three. Yeah, three. No, sorry, four out of his last five. So we might want to give him somebody a little bit lower on, on the totem pole. Uh, he is currently ranked at uh, Robbie Lawler, that is. He is ranked at uh, 10th place, whereas Darren Till is ranked at number six. Uh, we've got. Rafael Dos Anjos taking on Leon Edwards. There has been uh, a lengthy back and forth between Darren Till and Leon Edwards. A, a pretty respectful one, but more sort of like a local UK rivalry type of uh, uh, spat. And uh, the way I see it, whoever loses that fight, they're a pretty good candidate for, uh, for facing Darren Till. Because whoever loses, if it's Dos Anjos, he's going to fall down in the rankings. If it's uh, Edwards who loses, he's at number 11. And I, I just don't feel that, you know, we should throw Darren Till right in against a top five guy again. I, I say give it a little bit of time. Let him sort of work his way back up. Uh, Dana White has been, you know, very clear and open about uh, his opinion, saying that he felt that maybe they, uh, you know, they handled the stuff with Darren Till too fast. And that, that's a little bit, uh, Darren Till, he touches a little bit on that as well in the interview, which is uh, very interesting as well. Um, aside from that, uh, the one fighter that kind of does stick out to me as a as a possibility is uh, uh, Elizo dos uh, Elizo Zaleski dos Santos. Now he is not a big name, but he's coming off of five or six straight wins in the welterweight division, and style-wise, with his capoeira background, I think this would be fireworks. Uh, I think Dos Santos versus Till would be a really fun, entertaining fight, but it's probably not that likely simply based on name value alone. Otherwise, there is the ever-questioned fight with Mike Perry. It keeps getting brought back. Uh, people keep talking about it. Darren Till versus versus uh, Mike Perry. Is it going to happen? Uh, that would be a fun fight. Uh, I mean, obviously, any one of these fights, if it's actually possible, it all depends on when Darren Till returns. But the way I see it, those are the most probable and best uh, fights to make, uh, both in terms of styles and, and ranking. Uh, if you guys have you know, a different suggestion of who Darren Till should fight when he gets back, instead of just calling me a retard whose job I can't do as good as Chael Sonnen, let me know who you guys think uh, would be a good return fight for Till in the comments below.